Hey guys, Red Zero AU here, and welcome to a new series of Let's Play on Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Now, I'd have to admit, I'm not the greatest expert on Don't Starve. I've played a little bit of the original, um, but certainly I had a look at Shipwrecked, and it's it's in early access, the uh, this DLC, so they're still working on it, but um, it looks quite interesting and we'll see how we go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, start a playthrough with wilson and for those of you that aren't familiar with the game it's a survival game um, and it has permadeath oh, i just better get rid of that quickly So once you're dead, and the whole idea of the game is effectively just to stay alive, and as the name suggests, don't starve. So we'll check out what's uh, what's happening in this. So you'll see up there. Um, basically, I've added one mod to. Uh, to the game which is the minimap um, there are other mods you can add like increasing your inventory size and things like that but I'm just gonna stick with the minimap at the moment so what I'm just gonna do initially is uh, picking up saplings or branches twigs and grass and I just want to explore the initial area and see I've managed to pick up two flint already um, which I need to make tools like an axe and things like that but I want to see how much is here before I start crafting anything you definitely are going to need a, an axe because um, you need that obviously to chop down trees and you're going to need trees to get logs, and you need logs to build a fire. So there's another piece up there. There's some rocks there. It certainly appears that we are on some sort of island, which is no surprise, as we've just been shipwrecked. And you can see my health and hunger and sanity up in the uh, top right hand corner. and. The progression of the day when the day gets into the uh, darker side on the left of the dial there um, it'll warn me that it's getting late and when it gets into the really dark parts you need to have a fire going otherwise you'll just get instantly killed all right so another flint Looks like that's all we've got. So we go over to our tools menu and we'll build ourselves an axe. And I'm actually going to build a machete. I'm going to build myself a pickaxe. And we've got some berries over here. Remember this is don't starve, so your primary objective is not to starve to death. So finding food whenever you can is the aim of the game. We might just explore a bit up here. Ah, oh, 
And there's another flint. Oh. These got coconuts on them, so we're just going to chop this tree down, get some logs. Now, just a tip if you're uh, playing on PC, don't need to keep holding the mouse button down, you can just hold the space button down and it will pick up everything and keep chopping and things like that. of flint. I'm going to mine some of these rocks. And as you see we from some of the rocks you do get flint. Other ones you just get rocks. Okay, so he's telling me it's getting light. You don't need to panic when he says that, basically you've still got a bit of time, it's only when it gets absolutely dark that it becomes a problem. So this island's a pretty good island to start off with, it's got lots of flint on it around the place for a, start for a starting island, it's great. Now these, uh, make sure you pick the limpets, these are good food. In fact, I was thinking that basically what I probably need to do is um, travel around and have a look at a few islands to uh, find a good place to uh, set up base, but I'm actually starting to think this is... Look at all this flint here. I'm thinking this is a great place to... It's a decent sized island. I might just make this my home. Uh, Q and E rotates. You need to rotate the map. All right, so we're getting close now to uh, get away from those seeds. They're mine. Away. So we're getting close to uh, becoming very dark now. So I might set up a camp here. Maybe right in the right here. And I've got enough to make a fire pit, which is great. There we go. All right. Now if we take all the food that we've got and we cook that up. And we've got limpets. can cook the uh, coconuts but I'll see how we go because um, you can also use those to plant more trees. Just add a log on there. And we'll also craft our machete. So, there we go, we're into day two. <clears throat> so I'm just going to plant a few of these around. Just... Coconuts are, um, you can use those for food. So there we go. There's another piece of flint. Just going to eat some of these big berries. And maybe the seeds. More limpets there. Now, 
what would be really nice is if there was something that would give me if there was one a resource that would give me a piece of gold so I could make the science machine but might be asking a bit much now I do need some bamboo and I'm gonna need some vines which are these things here Two more vines. And one more bamboo. I'm not going to mine all these rocks just yet. Um, I will eventually. But just pick up that flint. There's our base here. And we've got the water here. So, so we can build a. Raft. Uh, now, what have we got? Oh, we're going to have a look around. Yeah, you can use the mouse to um, to move around, or you can use the WASD keys on the keyboard. Obviously, playing this on PC, um, it is still in beta at the moment the uh, or in early access the DLC shipwrecked and it is available at the moment only on PC so we'll pick some seaweed can use that for uh, for some food Got some coral up here. Coral reef. I'm not sure what coral is used for at this point. Uh, there are there's a whole lot of new stuff in this that I'm not familiar with. And to be honest with you, I wasn't. I didn't play. I played a bit of the original, but I I didn't play it extensively enough to. Uh, to call myself an expert at it at all. Um, so, so we'll see how things go with this. Um, it could be a very short let's play on Wilson. Uh, basically, the idea will be um, I'll play through on Wilson and then um, and then I'll start a new play um, after that on a on a different character, and we'll maybe look at doing that each time. So, but we'll see how we go. Just want to see if there's any land, any other land nearby. Ooh, avoid that wave. The seaweed. Starting to come into evening, so I need to think about what I'm about, to, what I'm going to do. And I think I might head over and head back to land for night time. So 
So the good thing with the fire pit, all you need to do is just add some fuel to it and your fire's back again. So it's always handy. Now we did pick up some more limpets. We'll cook those up. Uh, seeds. And we've got some seaweed. We'll eat the toasted seeds, um, start eating some of these limpets, we'll eat some seaweed. Food's almost full. We'll just clear that out of the out of the inventory. And I might just chop this tree down because it's got coconuts on um, from what I understand you it's always better to wait for these to um, mature and have coconuts on them fires getting a bit low Get some more fuel Get some more seeds Get a seashell there don't really need it just drop it there for the moment And the coconuts, as I say, you can cook those and eat them. They provide some nutrients. Um, now, what can I do in here? There should be some stuff I can do in here. Uh, so if there's a forest. Take that. Thatch pack. Uh, I can build that. Right, so it gives me a backpack. Which just gives me four extra slots. And here. Not there. Here. Straw hat. Alright. Go away. In my seeds. You still on my seeds. Seeds there. So I think we'll keep exploring and see um, see what other land messes are around. We've got plenty on this island that we can use, but we need something that's going. We need a gold deposit just to get that first bit of gold for the uh, science machine, um, which unlocks a whole lot of other stuff. So oh, more coral reefs. That's the land there that we come from. I said our um, island is actually quite large, which is uh, great for a starting island. I mean, basically, I've picked up 15 flint or something. I've had islands that I've started on um, when I did a set when I was doing sound checks and things like that, and basically it would only have like maybe one or two on it. So this is a very lucky start. I... Sorry about that guys. Uh, just a bit of a pop up there from Windows is rather annoying. And this must be a new landmass here. Right, so we can start exploring here. So what I'm looking for basically is um, 
you get these boulders um, but they have like a little glint in them of a uh, bit of yellow in them which kind of signifies that there's some gold in it. Ah, here we go. So we found a rock biome which is great. Oh, gotta watch out, there's spiders there that you see here. So, I'm going to mine this. Great. Pick up the rocks. Uh, oh, Primal apes. Okay. Don't attack him. Don't attack, please don't attack him. There's too many of them. There's no way I can take all them on. Oh, this is a nice island as well. I'm s oh, I think we'll be exploring this island and then I'll be deciding where I'm going to set up base. This has got... This is quite nice. It's got the rock biome. Lots of grass. Only thing is, it's got these monkeys on it, which are damn annoying. Or can be. And to be honest, it's not that far away from the island that we were on, so it's very easy to get to. Some decent size islands this time. Alright. Uh, can I make it back? And because that one's so close, I'm thinking I might actually make another fire pit here. And I might make my base down around this area. Simply because um, it's then easier to go backwards and forwards. So if you look at the map, I mean basically I've got... Bear in mind that the map is... This is all the map, so we haven't covered hardly anything. But that's a that's a good size island that I'm on there. And then we've got this one very close by, which has the rock biome and the various biomes in it. So, and we'll keep exploring out and and finding where the land masses are and see what's on there. But I think now the uh, the thing will be to make the science machine, which I need to gather some more rocks, which I'll we'll do in the morning. And I'll just chop this tree down. Just to get the logs. 
and some seeds over here. So we can cook up those seeds. Oops, um, limpets. Sweet potato as well. Eat those. Uh, anything else here? We've got a coconut. Yeah, we can plant that. We can go there. And need some limpets. There we go, we've made it to day four. So I think we'll leave uh, this video there. Um, in the next episode, we'll come. Uh, this series will certainly be warts and all. Um, there won't be any um, cutting of, of content in it. And I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. So um, if you have, please leave a like and subscribe. And this is Raid Zero signing out. I look forward to seeing you next time.